Hello, in this video I'm going to be giving you a tour of my other main Doctor Who bookcases. This is where I keep the majority of my Who novels. On the top of the bookcase on this side, I have a Time of Angels photo with some Weepy Angels and some of my favourite autographs. Continuing with the autograph theme, I have a variety of larger books and random series that don't fit on the main shelves, held up by this awesome TARDIS bookend. So I have Torchwood Exodus Code, and an assortment of books I've got from book signings over the years that aren't Doctor Who related, but on the end I do have Matt Lucas's Little Me and I Love the Bones of You by Christopher Eccleston. Then I also have 10 of the 50th anniversary special edition novels, and on top of them is a basket full of bookmarks and various wristbands I've collected from Doctor Who events. Then we move down to my first proper shelf, which is where I keep my Torchwood novels. These are by far my favourite series of any Hooniverse books, so that's why they get pride of place. I also have my SJA and class books on this shelf to keep all the spin-off novels together. And in front I have a Weevil, these tortured badges from an issue of SFX magazine, and then these Series 1 mini promotional cards. I've just put the Jack one at the front to keep with the tortured theme. So I just have all the tortured novels in order, the first one being Another Life, Border Princes, Slow Decay, Something in the Water, Trey's Memory, The Twilight Streets, which has an awesome cover, Pack Animals, Sky Point, Almost Perfect, Into the Silence, Bay of the Dead, The House that Jack Built, Risk Assessment, The Undertaker's Gift, and Consequences. Then moving on to the Miracle Day prequels, I have Firstborn, Long Time Dead, and as space for The Men Who Sold the World, the last of the torture novels. As I said, unfortunately Exodus Code doesn't fit on this shelf because it's too tall, so that's why it's up above. Then I have my SJ novels, which I showed in my recent SJ collection video, so I won't go through them again. And then the last three books I have on this shelf are the class tie-in novels, What She Does Next Will Astound You, Joyride, and The Stone House. And these are really enjoyable reads. The next shelf down is the start of my new series adventures collection. Decorating this shelf I just have a little Titan Tenth Doctor, an adipose and then a random Ice Warriors postcard from the Doctor Experience. Moving on to the books, I have The Clockwork Man, The Monsters Inside, Winner Takes All, which is one of my favourite new series adventures, The Deviant Strain, Only Human, The Stealers of Dreams. Moving on to Tenth Doctor Stories I have The Stone Rose, the Feast of the Drowned, The Resurrection Casket, The Nightmare of Black Island, The Art of Destruction, The Price of Paradise, Sting of the Zygons, The Last Dodo, Wooden Heart, Forever Autumn, which is a fun and spooky story, Sick Building, Wet World, Wishing Well, The Pirate Loop, Peacemaker, Martha in the Mirror, Snow Globe 7, and the last book on this shelf is The Many Hands. And then moving down to the bottom shelf on this bookcase, the new series adventures continue, and I've just got 10th and 11th Doctor, Amy and Rory figures next to their respective stories. The first book on this shelf is actually only tangentially Doctor Who related, and it's the official novel of Broadchurch, based on the TV show created by Chris Chibnall, and starring a host of Who names. Then we move on to more of the new series adventures, starting with my battered copy of Ghosts of India, The Doctor Trap, Shining Darkness, The Story of Martha, Beautiful Chaos, The Eyeless, Judgment of the Jadoon, The Slovene Excursion, Prisoner of the Daleks, The Taking of Chelsea 426, Autonomy, and The Quillotane Storm. Then we move on to the 11th Doctor new series adventures. First I have Apollo 23, Night of the Humans, The Forgotten Army, Nuclear Time, the King's Dragon, The Glamour Chase, Dead of Winter, The Way Through the Woods, Hunter's Moon, Touched by an Angel, and last but not least, for this shelf, is Paradox Lost. Back up to the top of the next bookcase now, and these books are all organised by height, guarded by some miscellaneous character building figures, including a Headless Cyberman, a Time Squad Slovene, and the War Doctor. Starting with some short story collections, I have Adventures in Lockdown, Heroes and Monster Collection, Tales of Trends Law, which is a great book, The Triple Knife and Other Doctor Who Stories, 
Borrowed Time, which isn't an anthology, but it would be weird to separate it. Moving on to slightly taller hardbacks, I have The Legends of Ashilda and The Shakespeare Notebooks. Now we are 600 and The Missy Chronicles. I have a selection of novels including the two amazing Time Lord Victorious books, The Night, the Fool and the Dead, and All Flesh is Grass. Then I have the free 13th Doctor new series adventures, which include The Good Doctor, Combat Magics, and Molten Heart. I've moved Engines of War to this bookshelf since my last video. And then I have In the Blood, The Silent Stars Go By, and Dark Horizons. And then the last taller books on this shelf are the Target Storybook, which is too wide to stand on its own, so sorry for this awful shot. Then I have Star Tales and At Childhood's End. The last thing on this shelf is the other end of the TARDIS bookends. The next shelf down is the continuation of my new series of adventures, mixed in with a random assortment of other books. I just have another 11th Doctor and 12th Doctor figure on this shelf, and then this little photo of the Family of Blood. So continuing with the 11th Doctor books, I have Plague of the Cybermen, the Dalek Generation, and Shroud of Sorrow. Then I have paperback versions of the first six Twelfth Doctor novels, which are The Blood Cell, Silhouette, The Crawling Terror, Royal Blood, Big Bang Generation, and Deep Time. Next, I have The Shining Man, Diamond Dogs, and Plague City, which are all really great stories. Then I have The Free Being Human novels, which are obviously not Who related, but they are awesome books, and they're written by the same pool of writers. Then I have my small collection of Virgin New Adventures, starting with Love and War, White Darkness, Toy Soldiers, No Future, Original Sin, and the last one is Nightshade, which I've just realised are not in order, but oh well. Then I have this Diddy Journal of Impossible Things, and the Sands of Time, which is one of the Virgin Missing Adventure novels. Then I have this stack of re-released and modern series Talia books. First I have The Daleks, The Crusaders, The Cybermen, The Abominable Snowman, The Auton Invasion, The Cave Monsters, and Battlefield. And then I have City of Death, Rose, The Christmas Invasion, The Day of the Doctor, and Twice Upon a Time. The next shelf down is arguably not the most aesthetically pleasing, but this is where I keep the rest of my Target books. In front of them I keep Doctor Who and the Loch Ness Monster facing forward, because it's my favourite classic Doctor Who story, and this 7th slash 8th Doctor postcard. Behind them I have the rest of my collection. I have done a Target book video before, and I haven't got a great deal more since then, so if you'd like to see all of these in more detail, then I'll leave a link to that video in the description. A few notable mentions though. On this shelf I also have the John Pertwee Book of Monsters. I'm sorry about the glare, it's in a protective sleeve. Peter Davison's Book of Alien Monsters, and Peter Davison's Book of Alien Planets. Then I have three of the Make Your Own Adventure books, starting with Mission to Venus, The Garden of Evil, and Crisis in Space. At the end of the shelf, I keep three of the History Collection novels, including Amorality Cell, The English Way of Death, and Shadow in the Glass. And then the very last book on this shelf is Junior Dot Who and the Brain of Morbius, which is one of the two children's adaptations of previously published novels. These were written in such a way that they're more accessible to younger readers and contain fun illustrations inside. And then the final shelf is where I keep more of my younger readers slash lighter reading books. Starting with the quick reads, I have I'm a Dalek, Maid of Steel, Revenge of the Judoon, The Sontaran Games, Code of the Crusades. Magic of the Angels, and The Salarian Gift. Then I have a few of the Decide Your Destiny books, starting with The Spaceship Graveyard, Alien Arena, The Time Crocodile, War of the Robots, Dark Planet, The Haunted Wagon Train, Lost Luggage, Second Skin, The Dragon King, and The Horror of Howling Hill. Then I have some of the 11th Doctor Decide Your Destinies, Claws of the Macra, The Coldest War, and the Jadoon Monsoon. Then I have one of the two-in-one novels, so it has System Wipe on this side, and then on the other side is The Good, The Bad, and The Alien. And then I also have Death Riders. Then next to the Dalek, I have an unnecessary amount of Doctor Who quiz books, 
just makes it look like I'm insecure about my Who knowledge or something. But first, I have the Doctor Who quiz book, the second Doctor Who quiz book, the third Doctor Who quiz book, the Doctor Who quiz book of magic, quiz book of science, quiz book of dinosaurs, and quiz book of space. I have Doctor Who brain teasers and mind benders, and then moving on to modern Who, I have Doctor Who quiz book, quiz book two, quiz book three, and quiz book four. I have quiz book through space and time, which came with SFX issue 305, and then I have the final quiz book, in my collection anyway, um, which is So You Think You Know Doctor Who. Next I have Tom Baker's children's book, The Boy Who Kicked Pigs, and then I have the Dark Smith Legacy box set. Next to that I have the Doctor Who stories, which are the collected short stories from the Doctor Who files, and then I have the final book on this shelf which is The Weeping Angels, which is sort of a sticker slash activity book. And then the final bookcase I have that is solely Doctor Who is where I keep all my magazines. The top shelf holds cardboard cased magazines, and then I have four magazine files. Inside the first one are tortured magazines. The one next to that is miscellaneous, mostly sci-fi now though. The third one is miscellaneous again. And then the fourth one is all my SFX magazines with Who covers. And the two folders on the right contain issues of Doctor Who Weekly and Doctor Who Monthly. The next shelf down largely consists of the last 36 volumes of The Complete History. Above them I have a few Essential Doctor Who and Dee Dee Special Editions. And the Series 11 art cards. Then in front of The Complete History I have an Inglemoth Cyber King holding a 50th anniversary keychain four kawaii titan doctors, and a TARDIS. The third shelf is where I keep all my digital poems, with space for future issues, and on the right I have another magazine file with digital poems special editions in. The fourth shelf is full of radio times with Doctor Who front covers, again with space for future issues, and then the two notebooks on the end are full of Doctor Who articles and clippings from newspapers or magazines that I haven't kept. And the final shelf on this bookcase is a bit of an eyesore, but it's making space of every speck of storage. I have a magazine file with Miss Koo magazine. On the top are newspapers from when Jodie Whittaker was announced as a Doctor, and some random Doctor Who adventure stickers. And then the rest of the Doctor Who complete history are hidden at the back there. And that is all my Doctor Who bookcases toured, so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.